still in the rock and get up to the I'll take from my family damage I'm carrying the money right up to his home Giving the man a hollow to give me a bundle So I can forget it, let go All the feelings I feel and I'd rather forget it Spin him and I want my post If I die, what is my plea? Hope to God don't make me weak But don't go to heaven They never stand at the gate There's a special place in heaven for the sociopathic From the Windy City here in Chicago, Illinois, he's Ray Ferraro, I'm James Cebulski. Just moments away from puck drop, we'll send it down to ringside Ray Ferraro. Between the pipes could be a critical area tonight, Razor. You've gotta get into the other goalie's face. Both teams have talked about it. You've gotta get in for second shot. Really, it comes down to will. How can you force the other team's goalie? Setters glide into position for the opening draw. The Blackhawks take possession here on the opening draw, and we are underway. Athanasiu's got it against the boards. Shot with the stop. Corey Crawford's an easy guy to cheer for. He's had all kinds of injury problems. Great to see him back on the beam. To his teammate. Looks to set up at the point now. Maintains possession of the puck along the blue line. And it's a quick pass to Mata. Slides it back to the blue line. Gets it to the other point. And that skips away on a nice defensive deflection. Chicago's looking to break out. Feeds it over to Shaw. The Oilers gain control of the puck against the wall. And he slides it quickly to McDavid. Deflected away. Nice defensive use of the stick there. Here's an odd man rush. Saucer pass across. Pass back to the point. Shuts him down. Picked up along the boards by Taves. Loses his balance on the play. Yamamoto's got it into offensive territory. And he takes a shot. Makes the save. A defenseman loves this. The puck doesn't stay in front of the net. It's now in the corner. He doesn't have to worry about fighting another guy for position. Turns it away. Really good positioning as he makes the stop from in tight. Gets it out of his own end. Bears got the puck now here inside his own defensive zone. McDavid's got it in the offensive zone. Chicago's got control of it now from their own end. Here's a chance to get it out. And there's the whistle. Icing is the call, which I gotta say is like almost the equivalent of a tie. Who likes icing? It might be the most boring play in hockey, but you get an offensive zone faceoff. Hey, there's a victory. Puck is dropped, and we are back underway. Quick feed to DeHaan. Carries it in. Moves it to Strom. Now a quick pass to Kane. That's a great heads-up play to break up the pass. Great pass from off the right side. Edmonton's got it along the wall. Edmonton's got a hold of it along the wall. He scores! They're on the board early in this one. Yeah, it looks like one team came ready to play. The other one's still feeling their way in. Well, they'll feel their way now. They're down one. Oh, did he sell this move? He gets the goaltender down and he throws it right up into the top bin. Edmonton's made their way back to center ice here and they've got that one nothing lead. The road is a funny place to play. You can't really be too aggressive, but when you get an early lead, James, you can open it up a little bit. Moves it quickly over to Carpenter. Good defensive effort to poke it away. Steps in with the block. Edmonton's got the puck along the wall. Chicago's got control of the puck. Knocked away. And now it's grabbed by Chason. Slides it on over to Neal. Moves the puck. Quick shot. 
just wide. Chicago's got a hold of it against the wall. And now he angles it across to Kajula. Nice pass. Quick pass to Dehan. Kajula's got it along the wing. And that's out of reach and out of the offensive zone. Takes control of the puck. Beats the goalie, but can't beat the post. Takes the pass from his goaltender. And now he tries to get it across to Benning. Benning's got it across the line. On the attack along the boards. And that's broken up with a stick in front. The Blackhawks gain possession along the wall. Here's the pass. Score! Quick puck movement always helps when you've got the extra man. The defenders just don't catch up to it and it ends up in the net. Still lots of time left in the period. You can feel the energy in this crowd. It's a tie game. Puck is dropped, play resumes. Passes it to Mata. They've got the defense outnumbered. Long reach breaks up the momentum. And he slides it quickly to Seabrook. Great heads up play by the defender. Moves the puck along the half wall. Centering pass, scores! And the deadlock is broken. Oh, what a crushing goal to give up. But the other guys worked hard for it. They pressed the play, and now they've got the lead. I don't think the goaltender gets a look at this at all, James. He just drops into the butterfly. He's hoping the thing hits him through that traffic. Take the lead here in this first period. Nice to play from out front. Gives yourselves a little bit of a cushion if you happen to give one up. Taken by Clefbaum. Clefbaum's got the puck. Edmonton's got the puck along the boards. From the point, looks to make something happen. Shaw's swooping in on the attack. Here's a short pass to Keith. And he stands tall in goal. And that goes off a player in front. Edmonton's got the puck now. Oh, did you hear that? That was a car crash out there. Shane's going to play it against the half wall. That goes off a twig. Chicago's looking to break out of their own end. Taves has the puck against the half wall. Big time defensive play. Edmonton's bench is constantly saying, good sticks, good sticks. They intercept the puck, they turn it over, and they can attack. This will be a close game all the way to the end. Skates in behind the cage. Centering pass, gets a puddle on it to make the save. But he came out and challenged him, good save. Chicago's trying to wear them down. They've been on the body since the first drop of the puck. Maybe it'll pay dividends later, but they're trailing in the game. Past the midway mark of the frame, James and Ray with you tonight. We've got a 2-1 game. Strom's won it in their own end. Take it along the wall by Murphy. Chicago's got the puck. Icing is the call here, and those winded bodies are going to be out there for an extended period here now. Yeah, they can't get a change in, and so you go back, you kind of meander your way back as long as you can to kill time and get a little breath. And as the puck is dropped, they win the draw here inside the defensive zone. Over the line they come. They've got numbers. Slides it across. Denies him with the kick save. Koskinen's able to keep the score the same. He turns away a slot shot. And now he moves it to DeHaan. 
Rips it. That goes wide. Yeah, he's going to have to adjust the sights on that one. That thing's off target by a long way. Puts it on net. Just oh. wide. They say it's a game of inches, James. If that puck is a couple of inches to the side, that hits the post and goes in. Wins possession in the defensive zone. Saad's got it in the offensive end. Edmonton's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Stones him in front. Puck grabbed by Koskinen. And the goalie covers up for the whistle. here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. That's blocked. Takes that pass back at the point. Bank pass off the boards. With possession along the wall. Here's a blast. Blocked in traffic. Takes the feed at the point. Here's a blast. Denies him on the slapper. Here in the back half of this period, it's 2-1. Taves has won the draw. Here's a pass down low. And a stick in the lane ends that threat. Grabbed along the boards by Green. Tries to get the puck over to Dreisaitl. Edmonton's regained possession of the puck. Here's a shot on the redirect. Scooped up along the wall by Dreisaitl. Move to the middle, and there's the save. Brings the puck into the offensive end now. Moves it ahead from off the wall. Takes the shot, and that shot goes nowhere as the lane was filled. Stopped by the goaltender. Trying to escape the pressure. A chance right in front. Big save. He's not going to face many more high-danger chances than that, but he snares that attempt. A little banging and crashing now. Chicago's got the puck in their own end. Takes it across the blue line. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Stopped by the goaltender. Sets up from Gretzky's office. Right in front. Oh, and another big stop. That's why a goalie can never relax. He makes one stop. Now he's got to be sharp to make another. Along the wing, up the neutral zone. Oh, just a textbook hit. Moves it around along the half wall. Moved out in front! And that skips away on a nice defensive deflection. He clearly thought he had room to get by, but it got closed off in a hurry. He took a big hit there. Here in the late going to the frame, it's a 2-1 game. Strom's won a big draw on their own end. DeHaan's got it in the defensive end. Kane's carrying it ahead. Booming shot, and that's blocked away. Kick save. Oh, he's dialed in tonight. He's sharp on this one, out on top of the crease aggressively to make the save. Stops him cold. No quarter given here as they battle for the loose puck along the boards. Stopped by the goaltender. This is a quality chance that the goaltender turns aside right from the slot. Koskinen's lugging the puck under siege and finally grabs that one and covers up for a whistle. Chicago's still trailing here in this opening period despite excellent scoring opportunities in the offensive zone. Gets control of the puck here in his own end. Laying the body. Quick feed to Carpenter. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Kajula. Let's it go. And he comes up with it. Picked up along the wall by Carpenter. Puck picked up by Carpenter. Close, but not close enough. Manny snapped that right up over top of the net. He doesn't miss by much. 
strong use of the body to force the puck loose. Jangles it over to Neal. Lugs the puck into the offensive zone corner. Comes up with the steal. Officials blow the whistle. We've got icing on the call. Uh, nothing too smooth about that play. I wanted to get another look at this one, James. This looks like it hurts. I'm glad I'm in a suit here. The Blackhawks must be feeling a little snake bitten, trailing in the late stages of the first. Smith won the faceoff. And now it's over to Kajula. The Oilers gain possession of the puck here in the offensive end. Chicago gained possession along the boards. Less than a minute to go here in the opening frame. Puck lands back onto a stick. Oh, great core strength to hang onto the puck after that. Nugent Hopkins brings it in. Oh, smart heads up play to poke that one away. And manages to clear the zone. Smart defensive play there. Here's a shot, and with just seconds to spare, they get a goal here to close things out. You gotta look at it from both ways. That's a real kick in the pants for the team that gave up the goal. But what a boost of energy for them to score this late in the period. This has to be frustrating. He's in the right spot. He makes the save. Well, at least most of it. The rest of it's in the net. Chicago's down despite numerous scoring opportunities here late in the first. Face off here in the neutral zone, and we are back underway. Well, that'll do it for period number one and a chance for both teams to kind of get a refresh here. 3-1 is the score after 20 minutes of play. If you like offense, well, that was a fun period to watch. Fans, we'd like to draw your attention to the far part of the arena where we're welcoming all of our minor hockey games here in attendance tonight. Still lots of hockey still to come, so get ready here on EA Sports. Welcome back, everyone. He's Ray. I'm James. Second period set to go. Well, after an intriguing opening period, here we go. It's period number two. Puck is dropped, and we are underway. One period already in the books. Ray, how have you seen this thing? Koskinen's been outstanding in this game, so all alone! And can convert! James, he's so close to making a change in this game, but he doesn't get the shot off. Along the half wall with the puck. Right up front! He scores! Captain Serious Jonathan Taves makes it count! He didn't waste any time. If he would have stopped that puck, the goalie would have had time to readjust. As it is, it's in the net. to set a rice and now it is just a deficit of one what a difference just the one goal makes in the way that you look at the game what makes you think is possible they only need one more to even this up Nugent Hopkins setting up against the wall slides the pass over to Bear directed over to Nurse time of the goal 53 seconds picked up along the boards by Mata knocked off the puck gets in front of it Quick pass over to Kane. Here's a chance. Heads deep inside the offensive zone. Puck scooped up by Kane. Moves it to Kane. Here they are on the attack. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. ahead to his teammate who skates away. 
Moves it quickly over to Kane. And now he angles it across to Murphy. The Hans playing it along the line. Puts it on net from the point. And a great save. Edmonton's got a hold of it along the wall. Carries it across the line. Back to the point it goes. Can't connect. Edmonton's got the puck along the wall. Murphy's got it against the boards. And now it's grabbed by DeHaan. Smart heads up play to neutralize the threat. Tosses it to Ennis. Chicago's got control of it now from their own end. And they'll keep on playing as icing is waved off. And now he moves it quickly to DeHaan. The lane was plugged up and that shot's blocked. Edmonton's got a hold of it against the wall. Here they come on the attack. Read it perfectly and breaks up the play. Carpenter stick handling in his own zone. And he passes it up ahead to Kajula. Tries to make a move and can't hang on to the puck. Wanted to get in just a little closer. Puck slides off his stick and that's it for the chance. Moves the puck across to Kara. Kara's got it in the offensive zone. Here's a blast. Just wide of the net. The Blackhawks gain control of the puck against the wall. Shaw's got it along the wing. And they'll be forced to tag up after that missed pass. From behind his own cage, he grabs the puck. Gets a hold of the puck here at his own end. And the official's waving off icing here. With the backhand, misses the net! No, he's got to get that on target. That's a scoring chance, and he doesn't even make a, the goaltender make a save. Let's it fly. Love the defensive effort to get in front of that. Tries to get it to Clefbaum. And it's a quick pass to Cassian. On the attack along the boards. Puts it towards the net. Blocker save, and he's showing up big time tonight. More than half the period left to play. It's a one-goal hockey game. 3-2 is where we sit. The frozen biscuits dropped, and we are back underway here. Passes it over to Dabrinkit. Dabrinkit's got it into offensive territory. Big time stop! Chicago's look good offensively to this point, but they continue to trail here in the second. Play resumes as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. Quick pass to Keith. Here's a blast. Oh, that goes high. That almost took some teeth out. Yeah, everybody's dodging for cover on that no one. No kidding. Takes it across the blue line. Rips it. Oh, and he just puts it wide of the net. You put this kind of pressure on, eventually they can't chase you anymore. Now he's got room to carry the puck. Lays into the body on the play. Looks to pass it to Shane. Carries it in. And now he tries to get it across to Neal. And he gets down to block it. Into the offensive end now. Went for the dirty dangle and it goes sideways. To break its tendency is to shoot the puck. This time he overhandles it and loses it. Moves the puck along the half wall. And that one's broken up. Edmonton's got control of it now here in the offensive end. Chicago's looking to break out of their own end. Works it across to Kane. And there's the whistle as he elects to slow things down a little. A pretty good decision here with the play starting to break down in front of him. Wow, did the ice get small for him. There's nowhere to go, and he had to absorb this huge hit. Chicago's had a lot of good looks on net, but they continue to trail here in the second. Takes the feet at the back end. The Oilers have it against the wall. Over the line they come. And he slides it quickly to Dreisaitl. Mata's taking it from his own end. Smith's got the puck. Tape to tape feed on the blue line. And now he moves it to Smith. 
Edmonton's got the puck. And he puts that one aside with ease. That's not going to fool him. Takes the feed from his netminder. Brings the puck into the offensive end now. Break away. Big time stop on the break. Goalie came out, matched the shooter's speed, and shut down the chance. Past the halfway mark of this period, 3-2 is where we sit. It's a one-goal game in what has been a very fun contest to this point. Takes the feed. Here's an odd man rush. Sends it over, puts it off the post. The Blackhawks can't believe their bad luck. A really good shot hits the goalpost, and they can't close the gap. Chicago's been the busier team offensively with way more shots on goal, but they still trail in the second. And momentum on their side as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. And that shot dies in traffic. Picks it off, look out! Pokes it away to keep the pressure on. He scores and tied it up! Brand new game, all that work that's gone behind this, and we're back to even Steven. Well, the only way he's stopping this one is if it hits him. As soon as the shooter went to shoot it, the goaltender dropped into the butterfly. He's looking around that traffic, hoping he can find it. This neutral zone face-off set to go, and we are back underway. Handles the puck. Now a quick pass to Murphy. Taves looks around, keeps a hold of it on the play, just wide. Nobody's going to be able to block that unless they're way off target like his shot was. Here's a shot taken by Kleppbaum. Athanasiu's got it across the line. Wrist shot from the slot, fantastic save. Yeah, he's a sharp save, James. Right in the middle of the ice, he makes the stop and pushes it away. Gets it out of his own end. Stays with it. And now he passes up to Kane. Huge play in his own end to come up with the puck. Larson's going to play it against the half wall. And he was right there. They can't connect. Moves it over to Murphy. Nylander's swooping in on the attack. Drives it to the front of the net. Receives the pass. He scores! Well, they break the tie here, James. Since it's been left, they now have found a way to jump into the lead. Now coaches talk about getting to the front of the net, make it difficult on the goalie, take his eyes away. Man, he only can see the player's butts in front of him. He can't even see the puck. The Blackhawks get in front here in the second. It's been a pretty tight game, not much on either side, but they've got the lead now. And play resumes as the puck is dropped. By number 88. Looks to get the puck over to Archibald. Taken along the wall by Strom. And he slides it quickly to Kara. Through center along the wing. From one point man to another. Comes up with the stop. Chicago's generated a lot of quality scoring chances, which is why they lead here late in the second. Back underway, and they take possession here inside the offensive zone. Makes the save on the slapper. Now we'll get a stoppage on the ice here. Now the puck sails down to the far end of the ice. They'll go back to the defensive zone and try it again. Here in the late goings of the period, Chicago's got a one-goal lead. Nice start winning the draw here inside the offensive zone. Takes a blast. 
Edmonton's got the puck along the boards. Grabbed along the boards by Chason. Centering pass! Rishna from the slot. Traps that puck tight into his chest. On their heels, trying to get it out of their own end. Race for the puck here. Icing waved off on the play. Chicago's gained possession along the boards. Under siege, trying to get it out of their zone. Icing's the call. You know the coaching staff's not going to love that one. Well, I can think of about three plays he could have made other than that one, but hey, that's the way it goes. Now you need your centerman to win a draw. Chicago's been the better team tonight, and they lead as a result late in the second. Dreisaitl's won the draw here in the offensive zone. Can't get it to go. Near the point. The Blackhawks scoop it up along the boards. Deflected away. Nice defensive use of the stick there. With possession along the wall. With the steal. Yamamoto's picking up momentum through center. Chicago's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Seabrook's got it on the offensive end. And a bad pass, and they'll be forced to start all over again outside the offensive end. Edmonton's got a hold of it along the wall. Chicago's got the puck in their own end. And icing waved off on this one. Really good hustle to get up the ice and beat the defender to the puck. Nearing the 40-minute mark of the game. Here's a shot, and that one stopped. Murphy's moving the puck through his own zone. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Unloads one, and he comes up with a big-time save on that. Here's a short pass to Athanasiu. With some momentum driving towards the net, here's a shot. Gets down to block it. Chicago's got the puck along the wall. Edmonton's got possession here in the offensive zone. Huge stick save by the goaltender. Hammers the shot, makes the save, and putting out the fire in front. Horn Sounds bringing the second period to an end. Lots of offense tonight, and it's still wide open. 4-3 is where we sit after 40. The game, please remember to be alert at all times in our seating area. Even with the enhanced safety measures, there are moments where the puck can be propelled into the spectating area with enough force to cause it. Don't go anywhere. The third period is just moments away. The game is in play. Welcome back, everyone. He's Ray. I'm James, and we are ready to kickstart this third period. There's been no shortage of firepower after the first 40 minutes, and we are underway here in the third. Ray Ferraro is between the benches at ice level. Ray, we've got 40 minutes played so far. How have you viewed things? Edmonton's been a step slow almost all game. They haven't had the puck very much. They're losing. If that's going to change, they've got to get the puck and hold on to it much more. Centered out in front. Knocked away. Picked off. Tried to be too cute on the pass. Quick shot denied by the defender. He grabs the puck here at the point. There's the physical side. Great read to break up the play. Takes it across the blue line. Here's a shot. Oh, what a stop. Crawford's on top of the puck, and that'll stop the play. Pretty conservative play here, James, as he covers it up to kill the play. Mata's on the receiving end of this huge hit. Sometimes you've got nowhere to go. Lots of time left in this period. It's a one-goal game at this point. 4-3 is the score. While the setters are jammed up, nice job by the winger to steal the puck. Offside the call, and we'll have a face-off just outside the blue line. Has dropped and we are back underway. And that's broken up with a stick in front. Takes a shot, puts it high. Scooped up along the wall by Nugent Hopkins. Move to the middle. 
And a strong defensive effort to get in front of that. We get a whistle, and they'll do it all over at the other. Hey, that means the play's supposed to end here. They're still pushing around pretty good. Taves is trying to drop the mitts here. He just can't get anyone to fight him. Puck is dropped, and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. And now he moves it quickly to Saad. Saad's carrying it ahead. Hammers it on net. Flies over the net. I think he's trying to be too perfect. Get it on goal. Oh, he's going to be feeling the regret on that one, though, yeah, right? You don't get many chances, and this one's not even a scoring chance because he doesn't hit the net. Pokes the puck away. The Oilers pick up the puck here in the neutral zone. Moves it around along the half wall. Wrists one, and it gets nowhere near the net. Blocked on the play. Pass stolen in the open ice. Feeds the puck to Archibald. They've got the defense outnumbered. Shane's looking to make something happen here in the corner. Stopped by the goaltender. He's sharp on that one. Nowhere to go for the puck. Along the half wall with the puck. Edmonton's got control of it now from their own end. Neal's got the puck along the wing. Slides the puck over. And forces a huge turnover here with the steal. They've got numbers. Hammers one. Way too much congestion blocks that. Hammers it on net. Answers it with an even better save. Up along the wing. Throws it in. Kane's got the puck in his own zone. Carries it across the line. Sends it across. Scores! James, you might as well put both goalies in the other net there. That's four in a row for him. If you're the goalie here, you just want to move as quick as you can. Maybe it'll hit you, but it's so close to the net that passes on the tape and off the tape in a hurry. Chicago's attempt to put more pucks on net has paid off as they lead it in the third. Puck is dropped and play resumes. Scored by number 50, Zach Smith. Picked up along the wall by Nurse. Nugent Hopkins has it at center ice. Here's a chance. To his teammate, denies him in front. Edmonton's ready to go on the attack. Sends it in on the attack. The Blackhawks gain possession along the wall. Chicago's got it in their own zone. Here they are on the attack. And a stick in the lane ends that threat. Quick feed to Dreisaitl. Chicago's got the puck here in the open ice. There's the whistle. Offside is the call. Stopping the play. Nurse is able to get everything behind this hit. He really lays one on here. Inching closer to the midway mark of the period. Chicago's got a two-goal lead. They'd love to build on it. Strobes won the draw here in the open ice. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Picked up along the boards by Nylander. Nylander's got it in the defensive end. Grabs the puck. Directs it on over to Kane. Here they come on the attack. Here's the pass. Oh, and that goes wide. You can go games without a chance from here. Take it along the wall by Kane. That's a great hit. He might have a step here. He's clear. Denies him on the breakaway. Strom's lugging the puck. Gets the puck over to Kane. Takes a shot. Stopped by the goaltender. Here's an odd man rush. Let's it go. Denied by the goaltender. There's always a next level to making a save. Step two is get the puck out of danger. He does a nice job there. 
And the always popular icing call made. And you know what that means, Ray? Yeah, offensive zone faceoff, man. He missed the play going down the ice. And that's a gimme icing. Now they can't change. You've got tired guys on the ice. Puck is dropped, and we are back underway. Moves it to Taze. And it's a quick pass to Saad. Shot from the back end. And that shot gets caught in traffic. Kara's got it into offensive territory. Takes a shot. And a delayed penalty coming up as he got tripped up. And let's see what the call is. Keats going off to the box for two minutes. Reaches in with his stick and gets nabbed for the trip. Here's a first look at the power play. Here's their first power play of the night, James, and they can be patient on it. They want to get the good shot, not just start firing puck after puck at the net. And manages, he's got a little jump. He's in all alone. Oh, what a save. Nice feed from the goaltender. Carries it in. Slides that one right across the blue line. Textbook stop by Crawford. Gets it out of his own end. Slides the puck across to Athanasiu. Shot on net, and he makes the save. An attempt to clear the puck from deep inside his own end. Slides it diagonally to Dreisaitl. Dreisaitl stick handling in his own zone. Sends a pass over. Ennis plays it into the offensive zone. Takes a wrist shot. Oh, a clutch save! And the puck's kicked free. It's a fancy footwork to kick it over to his teammate. Smith's got it against the boards. The Hans got it in the offensive zone. And that slides right out to center ice. Here inside the defensive zone, they get the puck. Penalty has expired. You've got to give the shorthanded unit a lot of credit there. Penalty coming up as the whistle stops the play. McDavid's going off for hooking. It doesn't take very long to get on the wrong side of the play. You're a step behind. You've got to slow that guy down. You can't catch him. Maybe you can get away with a hook. Not here. Just tried to play catch up and got burned. Chicago's man advantage unit will take to the ice for the first time tonight. And so they'll get their first power play of the evening. At the very least, you want to make sure you get pucks to the net, win some puck battles so you retrieve the puck. You just do not want on your first power play to have a poor one because that can leak into subsequent power plays as the game goes on. Past the midway mark of the frame, James and Ray with you tonight. While fans being treated to some offensive fireworks, it's a 5-3 game. Passes ahead from the right side. On the attack along the boards. Moves it quickly over to Kane. Moves the puck to Strom. Strom's got it along the wing. Quick pass to Dabrinkit. Takes the pass. Moves along the blue line. Off target! And the puck stopper jumps on top of it to get a stoppage in play. Edmonton's got to be frustrated with how things have played out tonight, trailing in this third period. Sheehan's won a big draw on their own end. Bears got it through the neutral zone. Dumps it into the O zone. Mata's taking it from his own end and tries to make a diagonal pass to Saad. Moves the puck along the half wall. Sends the pass over. And he slides it quickly to Saad. Takes the feed. Swing and a miss. Puck grab by Archibald. Passes on over to Bear. McDavid's teammates kill off the penalty. Well, the penalty killers hang on. They give themselves a chance. There's not much time left, but they were able to stay in touch with the game with a good penalty kill. The Blackhawks have played pretty consistently throughout this game. Now they've increased their lead, I think in large part, by the way that they played the body. Edmonton's failed to convert on scoring opportunities and lots of them here in this third period. 
Face off here in the neutral zone, and we are back underway. There's the whistle. Offside is the call. The Oilers have been the busier team in the offensive zone, but they still trail in the third. This neutral zone face-off set to go, and we are back underway. Now a quick pass to Larson. Moves the puck inside the offensive zone. Snapper from the slot gives them nothing in front. Edmonton's Achilles heel tonight has been finding offense as they trail here in the third. Offense is on face off and he wins the draw. Oh, what a save in front. Here's a short pass to Shaw. Shaw's got the puck. Back at the point, they set it up. Moves the puck. And he slides it quickly to Murphy. With possession along the wall. Takes it from the other side of the blue line. Offside is the call, and we'll have a face-off just outside the offensive zone. Edmonton's had more shots on goal, but yet they've run into a hot goalie. They trail late in this third period. And play resumes as the puck is dropped. Grabbed along the board by Nylander. Puck picked up by Seabrook. Moves it over to Nylander. Over the line they come. They've got the defense outnumbered. Grips it and rips it. Too many bodies in the way. Holds the puck at the line. Puck scooped up by Keith. And now it's over to Seabrook. Shot from the point, and he misses. That's a good scoring opportunity. He doesn't capitalize on a grade A chance. Across the point. Duck scores! One goal game. They put themselves in a position here to come all the way back. Down two, it looks like a long way to go. Now you're just one shot away. He's playing the percentages. Drops into the butterfly, but it doesn't help him. He gets beat pretty cleanly. Edmonton's third period deficit suddenly doesn't seem so insurmountable now. You can almost see the difference in the bench and the body language. They know they've got a chance. Here's a chance to make something happen inside the neutral zone. We got a delayed penalty coming up here as the ref's hand goes up in the air. By number 19, Nico Koskinen. Scooped up along the wall by Taves. 24 seconds. Into the offensive zone. Here comes the call from the official. Caught him just as he was picking up speed, and he's going to pay for it with the trip. Oh, you're spinning with him. You're trying to get your stick into the puck lane, and you end up tripping him up. Another power play opportunity coming up here. If you can find a way to get a power play goal here, you can change the momentum of this game. They haven't got one yet tonight. And you find yourself starting to press when you don't score. Edmonton's got the puck shorthanded. Quick pass to Archibald. He's got a step, puts it off the post. Oh, he's in the clear there. You just, those feel like such a big miss. You don't get many chances like that. The Blackhawks get a hold of the puck along the boards. Icing is called, stopping the play dead. In the final moments of this period, the Oilers make their way back into the face-off circle, still in search of another goal. Grabs control of it at the point. Moved into the middle. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Chicago's gonna play the puck from behind the cage. Brings the puck into the offensive end now. And the lane's clogged up, blocking that. Rips it. He scores! Oh, they've been hoping that the extra work they've done on the power play would come to capitalize. You do a nice job there. The power play takes advantage of that extra man nicely. They move the puck around and set up a shot, but then they have traffic in front of the net, making the goaltender really work to see it.
Edmonton's running out of time. They need to find a goal here quickly as they trail late in the third. Puck is dropped, and we are back underway. Score on the power play by number 12, Alex DeBrink. Shot misses. It was right there, Ray. Oh, it's such a great chance, and he doesn't get the shot on net. Time of the goal. Here's a race for the loose puck. And look at that zip down the ice to wave off icing. You've got to get past the hash marks to get it waved off. He does a good job. How do you miss that, Ray? I don't know, but we all do. You're right in the scoring zone, and you don't even test the goal. Picked up along the wall by Smith. Referee signaling for a penalty. Looks like we got a hooking call coming up. Nice pass. Slides it across, and the puck stopper tags his man to get the extra attacker on the ice. A chance in front! Being saved by the goaltender once again. And here comes the judgment from the official. This is a good old-fashioned hooking the call here. He looked like he was water skiing. Man, you gotta move your feet. You get your stick around his waist, you'll get called. Another scoring opportunity looms here. Athenasiu has won the face-off deep inside the offensive zone. And makes the save. Yeah, he does a nice... No, he, he scores! He thought he had it, but it must have gone off him. It's in the net, and that's a goal. That's surprising. So quickly, they've scored two goals in just about a minute 20. This is where you want run time here in hockey, right? This game can't end quick enough. They're getting pounded. That should be enough to wrap this thing up. The empty net goal should seal it. Getting into the later stages of this period. Chicago's really put the squeeze on here now, up by three. Athanasius, one possession. Makes his presence known on the ice. And we've got a two-on-one. Sends it over. And now it's grabbed by Seabrook. Hammerson from the point. He scores! A short-handed marker. I don't think their penalty killers ever really look for a shot, but if the opportunity's there, now they're more aggressive than they've ever been. No matter how much tracking a goalie does off the ice, the work with his goalie coach to help speed his eyesight up, guy shoots a puck like that, it's going in the net. Edmonton's offensive struggles have been the story tonight. Lots of chances, just not a lot of results. Puck is dropped and play resumes. Good check, frees the puck up. Moves right to the middle, lets it fly. Denied by the goaltender. Great reflexes, another save. Nice work in there after the first stop. He's got to find the puck to save the second. Edmonton's got the puck behind the net. And he elects to play the puck. Delayed penalty coming up here. Final buzzer sounds, and this one's in the books. They had the puck the whole time, James. It just goes to figure that they were going to win this game comfortably. Yeah, this the right team won this one tonight. Well, this one's in the books. A fun one tonight for Ray Ferraro. My name is James Sabalski. Thanks for joining us, everyone. Good night.